Connor, I want to start by saying I'm so sorry. It is. It's usually I don't you. even. It's, it's fine. It's usually you that pushes these things back. But um, today what? it was. It was me by by much more than you have. We're like we're like an hour and a half late to the show. Uh, the I was day being has... nice to you, and then you throw me under the bus. But yeah, I know. I'm normally late by like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. 10, 15. I was being very nice about it. Now I wondered why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fine. Nah, it really, it's 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 not an issue at all. It's it's really, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It, man, everything's so fucked right now. It's so busy. I just can't. It's fine. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm really not bothered. It's fine. Good boy. Thank you, Aiden. This is why we're great. So I can just fuck around and... And, and I'm always going to be fine. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all right. I was only going to practice some music. And like I said, I can do that after this anyway. So it's fine. It's no issue. Lad, look at this guy. He's such a gentleman. Yeah. It doesn't get me anywhere, but I am. <laughs> I'm very optimistic today, clearly. So, so uh, today we've got an, an interesting episode. It probably won't be too long because we've started mm-hmm. shooting at quarter past nine at night. Um, yep. And I, I just had dinner with chilies in and I was telling Connor... I rubbed it under my nose and my nose is now sore, but now I've also rubbed it into my eye <laughs> and now oh, my eye is really fucking got sore. Got the fire going. This is uh, bad. So if I'm sniffing and drinking a lot of water, uh, this is why. I ate it with suck on hot ones. Confirmed. I love some good chili. I'd be good in it, but I'd, I'd cry and I'd burn a lot. I'm the spice lord, Aiden. Whatever you say, spicy boy. Thank Whatever you. you say. So uh, today we're reviewing New Earth, obviously, but we've also got the new a new segment. New 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 segment. A new 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 segment. That's right. So this brand new segment brought to you by by us, the folks at the Fifty Percent Podcast. Oh yeah, we are doing the the big. I can't remember what I called it. The, the big Doctor Who quiz, yo, mm-hmm. is what I, it's now being called for this week, but the name will probably change every week because I'll probably forget every week. Uh, Connor, do you want to tell us about what this quiz is? Uh, so, even I forgot until about 20 minutes ago, we are doing questions. Now, I didn't really tell me specifically what to ask questions about, so my questions are pretty funny and ridiculous, and I don't think you're going to get any of them, which is fair enough, but... <laughs> I don't know. If I, was supposed to, I don't know if I was supposed to give questions for this episode, the whole show. I told you. I don't know. I messaged Did you, you this morning. Did you? Oh yeah. What'd you say? This morning, I said the 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 topic or the theme for our questions is series one. Oh fuck! I've not done that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that at all. I've done the complete opposite of that. Did you just forget? Because you replied saying yes or something. I was making a tea or something at that time. I probably didn't read it properly. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Let me look at my questions. I'm sure they'll be Series 1 related-ish. Uh, no, that's all right. It doesn't, we'll, we'll wing it. So, essentially, uh, every week, Connor and I are going to have a... We're going to have a category of, of Doctor Who, of something Doctor Who related, and we're each going to ask uh, three questions to the other person, and whoever gets the most right, uh, I guess, wins one point. And in this yeah. brand-new 10-episode series of the 50% Doctor Who podcast... Um, We'll uh we'll be having a winner of the show by the end of it, um, yeah. And and the 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 loser gets to buy the winner a shit piece of Doctor Who merchandise. Like oh a, yeah, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All Great. right. So who wants to go first? Uh, you you go first, ladies first. Should we do yeah, one question is. each? Yes, that's a smart idea. That's a smart All right, idea. Well, okay. I actually have a question from this episode, so that's pretty clever. Okay, well done. Okay, so it's a yes or no. Mm-hmm. And uh, is there a time limit? Is it like 10 seconds I have to... Or... Yeah, I'd say about 10 seconds, yeah. All right. Okay, so you've got 10 seconds to answer this. Okay. Right, yes or no? Yeah. The accent that Billy Piper uses in this episode is actually her real accent. What, like the, the normal Rose accent? No, the actress's real accent. Oh, uh, oh fuck. Uh, no. Uh, it is. I, for some reason today, was on Doctor Who Wiki, and it said that that's Billy Piper's real accent. I'm a The jam. Cockney. Yeah, that accent. <laughs> Apparently that's... I would have said no as well if I heard, didn't hear that today. Yeah, so well. I don't blame you for saying that. 
But apparently that's that's true. Wow. Sorry, Incredible. Aiden. Incredible. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, here's my question. Uh, All right. I'm so ready. Let's do it. I, I stuck with the theme of uh, of series one. So yeah. you got ten seconds to answer this. Okay. How many episodes in series one take place on Earth or Earth's mm. orbit? Okay. Uh. Oh shit. Ah. Two. One. Oh. Answer. All right. So um. You got I London where World Three counts as like one, right? No, just just episodes. So out of thirteen episodes. All right, I'm gonna say. Eight. <laughs> You're so is it seven? Wrong. No. Is it seven? What was thirteen. It? All thirteen. Every single episode, even the spacey oh, ones, are yeah. still in Earth's Shh. orbit. They don't go outside of Earth's orbit in series one. True, because you know, it's funny, again when I read on that wiki thing, it says this is the first episode to have a planet. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. This is new, new Earth. Is the episode we were talking about today is the first time Shit, in New Who true, that they true. actually go out of Earth's orbit. That's mad. Yeah. So I got okay. So we're near all. Near that was all. dumb. I got ten <laughs> seconds to answer this one. All right. Yeah. Go on. What is David Tennant's middle name? Oh fuck. Um. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, but even I guessed it before I looked it up. How, how is it obvious? All right. Smith. You have to give me your answer. <laughs> It's pretty obvious. John Smith. John Smith is my answer. Shit. I don't know if I can give you this. It actually is John. But. I'll take it. I can't it. give you that. You said John Smith. So hang on. Let me check my notes. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> it fucking is John. <laughs> you said John Smith though. You said John Smith. Yeah. But I got it right. Surely. I'll give you half a point. All right. I'll you take half. half a point. Connor. All right. In what month in 2005 did Series 1 begin airing? Oh, fuck. What? 10, 9, 8, 7. March. Six. Yeah, correct. Oh, yes! okay. You've got an edge on me here. All right. All right um, Hit me, baby. Hit me. All right. How many... I don't have to look at my notes. I remember them. How many Big Finish audios is Echo Stone doing? 12. Fuck! Got ya! Ah! Fuck! Ah. God damn it! So now, this is a decider. This is huge. Now, Connor, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I had a super busy day. So I wrote this question and I, I needed to go look at a clip for reference to get the answer okay. to it. So we're going to do that during this during this episode. We're going to do a, a live to find out the answer to this question. All right? Okay. Because I don't fucking know what the answer is. I'm confused, but go on. Okay, so the, this question is so dumb and I thought you'd love it. And you're oh. not going to get it right, I don't think. What? Um, okay. How many different names does Auton Mickey call Rose when at dinner? <laughs> Ten. Nine. Five. Huh? Five. Five ago five? Okay. Now we got a cross reference. Oh, hold on. Oh, you know what? Let's go into the theme song and when we come so we can cut that up and when we come back from the theme song, we'll have the answer. Does that sound good? Yes, but I just now realise I'm probably wrong, but go on. I'll let you change it because I have no idea. You, you can change it's it. It's fine. I'll stay with five. But... Stay with five? All right. Guys, it's a brand new episode of the show. Let's go into the, the worst theme song on the planet. And when we get back, we'll have the answer to this absolutely amazing question. Ready, Connor? Play it, Aiden. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50%. Pop, 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 ca, ca, ca. Sweetheart, babe. Sugar. Sweetheart babe sugar. He said Rose. I think That's it. It's four. It is four. No! Including Rose's name. It is four. No! No! Uh, I'm the winner of week one. I... I'll take it. Okay. This guy, half point bullshit, but fine. To be fair, I'll give you that because John was a pretty good guess. Thank you very much. All right, five. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh, you can all stop cheering. That's amazing. Oh, far out. All right, all right. I'll give you that. Yeah, to be fair, again, I'll give you the whole John Smith thing because that was a pretty hard question. And a brilliant guess, I must say, as well. It's weird because I, that's the one I really thought you'd think, this is ridiculous. I'll never get this. I didn't think I would. John Smith was such a fucking guess. 
You have no idea. Man. All right. Well, that was fun. I promise next week I'll have uh, proper answers ready to go so we don't have to segregate things apart. Uh, Anyways, shall we go straight into the episode, Connor? Sure. Sure. So, today we are reviewing New Earth. That's season one. Season. Oh, fuck. Season two, episode one. I wish we were still in season one. What a series. New Earth is the first episode of the second series of the British science fiction television series Doctor Who. It was first broadcast on BBC One on the 15th of April 2006. I was about to say 16, but it's six. Connor is looking very excited right now. The episode is set 5 billion years in the future on New Earth. Holy planet. shit. Humanity settled on following the destruction of the Earth in the 2005 episode, The End of the World. I do love how that connects. In the episode, hmm. the alien time traveling, the 10th time traveler, the 10th doctor, David Tennant, his traveling companion, Ro- Rose Tyler, Billy Piper, and their old enemy, Lady Cassandra, Zoe Wanamaka, uncover many artificially grown humans having been infected with every disease in a hospital by a group of humanoid cat nuns as a way of finding <laughs> cures for this for the disease. What a fucking bizarre, bizarre summary. Yeah. Um, thanks, Wiki. Uh, take it away, Connor. Yeah. Give us your thoughts, feelings, and emotions if you feel to. Well, this is actually a very interesting episode for me because um, just after christmas i think this season aired in february or something near march maybe one of those they usually march uh, april yeah we my family uh, april and 15th. i went sorry yeah 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 so we were in australia when uh new earth came out and i was in australia all the way up to go on the fireplace so i missed the showings of new earth uh tooth and claw and score union so when i came back I watched the rest of the season and I hadn't seen those episodes. And then it wasn't until I got the DVD that I watched Tooth and Claw and Score Union. I didn't watch New Earth wow. because I was terrified of it. <laughs> I was, I don't know why, but <laughs> young guess. Connor, young young C, just was terrified. I remember I went to school and I was talking to my mate about it and he explained the episode to me and explained the infections and in my head, I was imagining all these infected, gross people, and I was like, "Oh!" And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to watch it. Mm. And I kept going to school, and I kept saying to him because I had the DVD, I could watch it. And I was, like, I kept saying, to him, "Like, oh, is it scary?" And he's like, "Oh, he was just, he was just going like, nah, it's not like." And I was like, "But oh, there's scary scenes in there." And he explained a few scenes about like the terrible CGI scenes, by the way, when people get touched and they start going, "Ah!" It looks <laughs> awful. <laughs> they stay still as well. You can tell they were like, yo, we can't track this CGI on you. You've yeah, just got, yes. to, you've got to stay still and we can do it. <laughs> that is so obvious, by yeah. the way. But hearing about that, it just it just scared the hell out of me. And uh, also, as well, it took some effort to watch Score Union. We'll get there when we get there. But it, I, I watched that. But it took me ages to finally watch it. And I, and I did eventually. And I wasn't as scared as I thought I'd be. But it's a very nostalgic episode for that. And... Um, Honestly, I never, I never hated it as a kid. I, I enjoyed it a lot more than. Um, I'm not saying it's better. I enjoyed it a lot more watching it than Christmas Invasion because I think I just kind of turned my brain off. I, mm. I watched uh, half of it yesterday and half of it today, and I enjoyed it a lot more. There's a few scenes in it I love. All the face of Bo scenes, I really love. Yeah, they're real sweet. The the theme for Bo is really the great. score. Oh. That's probably one of my favorite Murray Gold scores is the face of both theme. Yeah. Uh, I love the beginning as well. It's nice to see Jackie and Mickey for like 0.5 yeah, that's seconds. Fun. Isn't it? It's fun. It is, it is fun. And the whole the whole scene with the doctor and it starts with like a shot of under the TARDIS floor and, and you see Tennant walking over yeah, it. It's, cool. it's pretty sick. Yeah. I, remember, I remember as a kid watching that being like, oh, this is interesting. And um, I've always loved the ending as well. And I love the score they use at the end. And it's not on... The uh, it's on the it's not on the album. It's like an unreleased piece of music because I found it a few years ago when I was trying to find it. Mm. So I do love the ending as well. Apart from that, it is a bit dumb and cheesy. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. How can people have every disease and be alive? Mm. Uh, there's there's cat nuns. I love cats. I'm a cat person, but I think it's pretty fucking stupid. It's, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It is. It is very bizarre. Um. Again, never, never, look, everyone, everyone likes to really shit on this episode. I've never had a huge problem with it. I've always found it quite fun. Mm. And 
it's that whole thing of I've always found hospitals quite scary and I don't like getting any medical help really because I always get nervous. So like it kind of, it kind of like grabbed that when I was a kid and, and ran with it. But what did you think, Hayden? Uh, uh, pretty similar. Um, yeah, I think there's so many dumb things in this episode. I think, mm. um, once again, I feel like, unfortunately, we, we haven't yet got to see proper David yet. Because he spends half the episode doing Cassandra and stuff. And I, I just feel like we're not at a point yet where I'm like, yeah, this is David going. You know, I, I just, I don't feel we're there yet. I don't think he's, uh, he, like, he obviously knows what he's doing with the role. And every scene he does shows that. But I I do just feel like um, he's not on his A game as of yet. Um, yeah, look, uh, same with Billy, really. I don't think she really stood out either. Um, but they did do great performances when they were being Cassandra, which is something that I thought was was good. Very funny, yeah. Yeah, very funny. Uh, the Cassandra uh, voice actress was really good as well. Um, I I never realized that uh, Chip walks so fucking like a monkey. Like, <laughs> I'm a half breed human. <laughs> it's so funny. I love Chip. He's a good <laughs> bloke. I've still got his action figure somewhere. Yeah, so do um, I. I literally do somewhere. Yeah, that is um, that is funny. That is funny. Yeah, yeah, Bo, that was cool. I I thought it was kind of weird how the doctor's like, uh, oh, Bo, we met on platform one, and he's acting like they're old mates, and I'm like, you guys don't even fucking talk on platform one. Yeah. So is that who sent the doctor that note saying come to floor? Uh. Yeah, he gets it on the psychic paper. I think so. Yeah. It's like, how the fuck did he know he's there? He's in the hospital ward. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ask Russell. We need to ask Russell. Russell. We really do need to ask Russell a section. But yeah. I, I, it's it's cool. Yeah, I agree. It's cool. I feel like I feel like um, uh, Russell had no idea he wanted uh, the face of Bo to be Jack until after series one. He's like, you know what? That'd be pretty cool. So he mm. probably in this episode knew. He's like, oh, I'll throw this in here. So because they mentioned the whole, uh, you know, the last question he'll sorry the last thing he'll tell someone yeah. is the whole yana thing and it's and that connects with jack and stuff so I, i'm pretty sure he knew that he wanted jack to be the face of Bo. but and they mentioned the whole live for millions of years type thing but they mentioned a face of Bo race and i was thinking mm. if jack is the face of Bo, i just assume he got so old that that happened to him so how the hell can well, he be put it this way they call him the face of Bo. that doesn't mean he is the face of Bo. We know, you know, like, um, it's like how we call, I'm trying to think of an example, um, you know, you know how people that like, uh, maybe mistreat women and, uh, they maybe like cheat and get with a few different girls, uh, and they, uh, dog the boys for a girl. We call them a snake. Yes. Maybe it's very similar to maybe... Bo, what? maybe Jack does some boring <laughs> shit one day and they were like, oh, you're such a face of Bo or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, because that's his nickname. They said yeah. the face of Bo, they call me. So. so maybe he's technically not the face. Like, obviously, you're meant to think he is. And I don't uh, think we'll okay. ever get an answer. But, um... Well, he dies, so... And Jack can't... Uh, to be fair, I do I do think it is the face. he is the face of Bo and I do think he mm. did die. But it's like, well, how the hell did he die? Because he can't die. Yeah. Did he get reincarnated? By the way, why aren't why aren't the doctor the doctor and Rose not care where he is? They weren't traveling together for ages. There's like three books I found out today. Three books on my TARDIS wiki adventure. I went down some weird rabbit holes. Mm. And, Wait, and, three uh, books of what? There are so six Doctor Who books with Echo Stone in it. By the way, I'm calling him Echo Stone as a meme. I know it's Echo Stone, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I I went down a weird rabbit hole and I found there were six books that have Equiston in it, mm. his doctor, and three of them have Jack in it. Yes. And um, so, yeah, so it's 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 like they travel together for months. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, do they not care where he is? Yeah, I actually like, read one of those books, um, Only Human, a few months ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty decent book. It, it's pretty funny. Uh, not they like sound a, pretty cool. Yeah, it, it was good. It was a good book, yeah. Yeah, it just, it just kind of, I'm kind of questioning... I mean, he was there all along, and he knew. 
<laughs> and he didn't say anything. Again, I do think it's Russell being like, oh, I'll put this in here and they'll know in a season's time that it, he was there all along. But yeah. uh, uh, I did notice a like, continuity error, Aiden. Uh, so did I. And this, uh, maybe it's the same one. Um, all right, what's yours? Well, hold on, Connor. You're jumping ahead. It's time oh, for our Goof of the Week. Is this the go for the week? Uh, well, you know how we did go for the week last week, and now now go for the. W- did you even listen to our podcast last week? Uh, oh, I can't remember. Kind of the Christmas invasion. We started a I brand new segment called Goof of the Week, and it's got a theme song that goes like this. Oh yeah, the uh, cowboy. Yeah, that's a good. For the I didn't week listen theme. to it. I'm sorry, man. It's a uh, it's a good theme. It's funny. I didn't listen to the episode. I just listened to that little bit because I thought it was funny. Um, what do we do on Go for the Week again? Go for the Week. We discuss the goofs of the week uh, of the oh, episode. Okay. Like just the like so like the like the errors and like stuff. a continuity error. Yeah. So I'll say mine, ah. and then uh, maybe mm-hmm. you can say yours or, or something. Maybe they're the same one. I don't know. Oh fuck. Sound 10% good? Percent battery. Yep. Sure. Cool. So, uh, mine is, so the doctor, right, he's hooking himself all the medicines on and then yeah. he uh, puts, I don't know, I think the thing that he uses to go down the elevator shaft, the little silver yeah. circle disc, he throws it onto his uh, right shoulder. So, he's got it hooped, he's got his arm hooped through it um, and then he runs and he jumps onto the elevator thing. But, you know, he's running, he's got the thing on his shoulder but then when it cuts to the wide shot in the elevator shaft, he's got the silver hoop in his left hand. And then when it cuts to him, a close-up of him landing on the elevator thing, uh, it's back on his right shoulder. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You just got goofed. You just got goofed of the week. Boop, 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 boop. You just got goofed, bitch. Yeah, get goofed. Connor, what's your goof of the week? Yeah, that, that wasn't mine. My... Sorry, by the way, but the t- whole time Aiden was talking, I had to get my phone charger and... And uh, plug it in because Connor's phone's on ten percent. Yeah, I thought about saying uh, things, but I didn't. Sorry, what did you say? Don't worry. Yeah. What's your goof of the about... week, Connor? All right, goof of the week is uh, all of the uh, so the whole um, whole of the hotel, not hotel, the whole of the hospital goes into lockdown, right? And uh, by the way, we're in yeah. Corona times, so this is pretty pretty accurate. The whole of the hotel, pretty relatable hospital. Fuck it, fucking hell. Whole of the hospital goes into lockdown. Okay. And uh, all of the lifts stop. Like the doctor literally says, the lifts have stopped working, we can't use them. And there's like a, there's a shot of outside the hospital and all the lifts stop. And then maybe like 10 minutes later, the there's like an out, there's a shot again outside the hospital and the lifts are fucking moving. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they Love fixed a good, them. Uh, <laughs> they fixed uh, them. That's the thing, that, that it was still all in lockdown, like yeah. nothing had been fixed. And... Uh, that's uh, you just got goofed. Got goofed, the boy. I tell you what, you just got goofed. You can't take the words like lockdown and quarantine the same anymore. Hey, you're always gonna think back to the old nah. Corona days. Yeah, well, it's still the Corona days, but <laughs> you yeah. acting like it's like a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. Um, nah, yeah. Uh, it did kind of make me think of the Corona days of 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 literally now, and it's like the whole infection thing. And uh, again, when I was like. I'm quite a germaphobe, to be honest with you, and I think that's what scared me as a child with the whole infection thing. Uh, again, it, it took me ages to watch it. it, it they just, those, like, the horrible, like, just the way they looked, all the infected people, just, like, terrified me as a child. It, like, gave me nightmares, and I was like, I ain't dealing with that shit. And I literally, I, I, because I don't know if you remember, but the, um, I, I caught up with the, like, when I came out from Australia from our trip back to the UK, um, you could buy the DVDs in volumes. You didn't have to wait for the whole season to come out. And I bought them in volumes. I remember you did never did that, but mm. I bought them in volumes. I still got them all in that box just there. You can't see it, but um, so when I came back from England, when uh, go on the fireplace, Ed, I got the first volume DVD. So I literally caught all the way up and just didn't watch that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, I manned up eventually and and did watch it. Uh, what do you what do you think of the ending? Because I've always I've always really found the ending quite quite emotional yeah um i uh was gonna say i uh i I think the episode the the start was kind of kind of cool exciting fast and then i think there was like 
a 25 minute snore fest where I was like, I don't give a fuck what's going on. Like, it, it's just so boring. And it's like shit, shit, shit CGI of like the doors and stuff. I don't know. Oh, the CGI is pants. Yeah. Um, but then uh, once like everything starts, uh, Tenant's era, the, almost every episode ends with like a climax of like running through corridors and like cool music. It, it's very Tenant, that era. That sort of thing. And uh, when that all started happening, I was like, yes, this is good shit. And when they're being chased by them and the music's like, dun, 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 that, I, That's the wrong music. That's a... Uh, that's a uh, doomsday, I think. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Dun, 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 Do you know, I read something so funny about Murray today. Again, when I went down that rabbit hole of wiki TARDIS fucking thing, I read um, I read up about End of Time Part 2. Yeah. And Murray was like... And you actually spoke about this, which is interesting. He said um, when we did David's last scene where he sees Rose, uh, he's like, I wanted, to, I wanted to do like a reprise like synth version of a uh, song for 10. Mm. It's like what you said. Cause you said you heard a quick part of it in it, yeah. which I assume is yeah. him trying to do it. But he said, it's so funny the way he said it. He was like, um, but I spoke to Julie about it. Who's a producer mm. for tenant and uh, Eccleston's era. Yeah. He's like, I spoke to Julie about it and we argued about it and there's no arguing with Julie. So we didn't do it. <laughs> 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 I was like, shit, bro. <laughs> so apparently, he's like, he's like, I think they just used Rose theme in the end. Because he's like, I tried to do this, but so there's no arguing with Julie. I don't know how it is in the episode, but on the soundtrack, there is a, um, a Song for Ten reprise. And it, it's just an orchestra uh, Song for Ten. So maybe he made it, um, and it just didn't get to go maybe. into the episode. Yeah, he said he wanted to do... So, which explains why I remember how you said it. I don't know what episode it was, but you were like, "Oh, they do a there's like a quick riff of uh of song for ten in the uh what's it called the has a hell weird name the final score name the oh in in Val Dacum. that's it yeah well, no, no, how that no. Means, I, I I was just saying um I'd been listening to the the special soundtrack lately and um uh, I think I said. I think I said the song before Valdecum, like, but then I also think that that song ended up also being part of Valdecum. I'm probably saying Valdecum wrong, um, but that's okay. Xavier will cl- co- correct me when I get to uni next Friday. Um, Do you even know what that means? Like, I have no idea what that even means. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, goodbye, David Tennant. Maybe <laughs> that's what it means. <laughs> that's my Fair theory. Enough. Uh, Look, I don't know. Um, I'm saying it, Connor. Yeah, I, I don't have any notes on this episode, so it's a bit. Everything's a bit scrambled. Um, That's right. Are you excited for um, next week's very dark episode? Yeah, I remember last time I watched it, I was like, "Fuck, this is so good," and I'd never sort of realized how good it was until until then. So I feel like the episodes from here on out are actually pretty jazzy. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we I go. I think you know we got. You know, Tooth and Claw and all that shit. And, you know. Fear her! <laughs> fear, fear her! Fear her! Yeah, but, you know, we get to watch Love and Monsters, which I've always liked. I'm reporting I don't care you to what the council. Says. Hey? I'm reporting you to the council. Yeah, and fear her. It, it's a meme, but it, it slaps. Like, it's funny I'm reporting ads. you to the like, council. I love it's it. It's classic. We've got uh, so many great episodes coming up. Look, I tell you what. The, uh, the cosmetics and the, the design of the cats... Uh, it looked mm. pretty good. Mm. They actually looked really good for 2006, I thought. Very jazzy. I, I agree. Mm. And uh, I... Again, I clearly don't hate this episode as much as a lot of people do. I, I've always had a bit of a... Like, every episode of, that Russell makes, I've just got a, a huge shot of nostalgia from it. Mm. And I think that's not really fair, and it is a bit biased, but I can't help going into these episodes and not feeling like a bit of pixie dust has gone under my heart and I fly out the window. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's how I feel like when... I, literally, I put on an episode of Doctor Who, a pixie flies through my window, it sprinkles some <laughs> dust on me, and I fly off with her. No, I think that's, that's just Russell. She... Russell flies yeah, in your window. True, Russell Naked with wings. Him, and just flies through my window, and I just fly off with him. For 45 minutes, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a simp flying away. I'm a, I'm a David simp. 
By the way, this is how I spend my Thursday nights, yeah, talking about a kid show at and about a pixie slash Russell flying <laughs> in my love, room and sprinkling pixie dust on I do dust love your, me. your summary of it, how every time we do an episode, he like sends a Snapchat and was like, just, just recorded an episode of the t- of the podcast I do where we talk about a kid's show from the 2000s as 20, yeah. 21 year olds. <laughs> Yeah, two two grown men in their twenties discuss a ch- children's show. That that should be like the uh, the synopsis <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> it should be. It's pretty. It's hard to talk to people because I remember I say to people, they're like, "Oh, should you do a podcast." I'm like, "Yeah, I've got two. Eventually, I'll have three. But I'm like, they're like, "Oh, what? Well, I'm like, oh, one's my one's a bit lifestyle one. I'm like, what's the other one? I'm like, oh, you know, I review <laughs> Doctor Who episodes, and I I rarely get a good reaction from that. But I I think I think you should be proud of who you are and what you do. And I always just say it because it's like, but it's a bit hard to describe. I think people think a lot of the time we're reviewing them and not seeing them. But I'm like, well, I've been watching for 15 years. We're re- are we re watching episodes from like 2006? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, also it, think it's, bit, it's easy for them hard, to but... jump to us being like, so at uh, 1507, the doctor uh, says, Alon Z. For the first time. He does, yeah. And he also sees the uh, the planet uh, that you all co- also can see referenced in Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, I like, like I think people think like we just have like a geeky... Hey, why are you talking normally? So, uh, you're very funny. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I think it is a lot easier. But we have good banter. We have good banter. This week, well, we're, we're that, pretty late at night. You see what I tagged you so. in on, um, on Twitter? It was someone put, I'd watch a... I'd watch a podcast or a youtube show where people sink beers and review dot two episodes and i literally tagged you both in on my our boomtown episode yeah <laughs> so maybe give it a bit of time and we'll have um some new fans i've seen you've been uploading them to youtube so I'm, I'm grateful and i hope we've been doing well on the old uh socials with uh with anchor and all that shit i hope we've been doing okay. yeah uh doing pretty good actually pretty that's pretty interesting good. uh we get uh, I, I feel uh, like we kind of throw it into the abyss and forget about it for a week and then we come back because no <laughs> well, I check i'm on glad it, like, we're doing all it. the time like multiple times a day it actually like excites me I don't oh know. do you really that's really sweet yeah um i didn't know that i'm sorry i should probably do that more well you can't check the the things i can check the youtube range though but uh that's true uh the youtube ones uh so hit and miss sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad it's weird uh the father's one day, day got like 50 views which was exciting for for our really? podcast yeah are you serious yeah um that's just on that's YouTube. not bad and then it, it's got for like a show that came on... out in 2005 yeah um but what's what i find really sweet is it's like every episode of of uh the podcast on on streaming platforms like spotify and apple music and stuff um some of them have like 20 plus views like rose is on like 21 views listens um i think and, and most of them are between like 10 and 20 um but there's always a consistent 10 that come on the first like day or two of listening and that's like that's just sweet crazy. to know that there might actually be uh 10 people that regularly just like hear our show and they're like let's put it on you know that's mad yeah um if you are listening, be sure to send us uh, questions on Anchor and we'll we'll answer them. We're wankers on Anchor and we'll answer your questions. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, Dylan the Human, I, this is our best way of contacting you at the moment. Uh, give us some time and we'll organise a thing. I'm just like fucking flat out right now. So um, Yesterday on the podcast, I um, I don't know why, I, I kept sinking beers and I was like... Uh, Every time I do it, I just go. That was for you, Dylan. Thanks for being a great subscriber. So I, I tagged him in a because we got a page now for our podcast. Yeah. Another one at For All Off Pod, and at OOC For All Off. Uh, yeah, but I tagged him in a post, being like, "You'll see why." But you're the star of the next episode. <laughs> um, we've got to have you back on soon, and you can discuss this show. And yeah, uh, just, all your uh, all your endeavor. Maybe maybe before your f- film comes out, you can come on and talk about that whole process. Oh yeah, look, it, it's uh, let uh, you know what we we don't have too much to talk about on the episode, so I'm just gonna go off topic a little bit and just talk about for like it a is minute. It's a fifty percent Doctor Who podcast, Aiden. That's right. Um, that's right, Connor. That's right, Connor. Look, we we've been very professional with how we've tackled this one. It it feels very like 
industry standard. It's uh, a, a big film. Um, we've got a budget of over a grand. Um, wow. That we've put together. Um, there's, a, there's a lot riding on it. Um, but there was also a lot of things, uh, locations and some casting things. We got most of our cast and they're super talented and um, they're honestly uh, performing some truly heartbreaking scenes, which is is good to like uh, to to have that feeling. Um, and uh, yeah, so there was just a few casting things and a few locations that we just weren't getting. And because it's like a dystopian future that it's set in, um, we're also like aware that you know we need money for that shit. Um, mm. And yeah, uh, in the past week. Uh, we've secured pretty much all of our... Well, we've secured all our main locations. There's one location that we need, but that's only for a short shoot, so it should be fine. Um, we've got all of our cast locked in. Um, and yeah, we, we've like crowdfunded over a, a, a grand, which is just like dope. Like it, it's just... Uh, yeah. Um, everything sort of turned out real well. And uh, that's why I was late, just because so much stuff at uni just kept happening and... I had like 497,000 meetings um, and uh, I'm here. And that's, uh, if there ever is, a, like, I don't know about Connor, some things might come up for Connor at some point, but if there ever is a, a month where we may accidentally miss an episode of the show, um, that's going to be this month coming because it is just so fucked for me in every, every, but like, I, at the moment, yeah, to be fair, a... we haven't actually missed a week, haven't we? No, we haven't. And that's why I just wanted to make a point and, and say that to people listening. That's if we right. do miss a week, we're not stopped. Um, there's just, for me at least, um, a lot going on. Um, and like at the moment, I'm starting work at 5 a.m. most days of the week. I finish at 11 or 1, go home for like half an hour, eat a sandwich, and then go to uni and get home at like 8 uh, like 8 p.m. Or, or something um, or later quite a lot of the time um, so it's just it's a lot right now um, I, I found a grey hair uh, <laughs> like half an hour ago I really? was like oh my god no um, I haven't even had time I'm, okay something I think will be funny is uh, Connor and I were talking about our hair just getting out of hand right now and I know a lot oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. have uh, quarantine hair but yeah the is, corona hair yeah the, yeah, yeah but fuck it this is our capaldi hair because it just gets yeah. longer well um, to be fair there are hairdressers open but yeah i've been I, i've been since it opened but yeah same um I'm, I'm gonna grow my out for like a few more weeks i reckon no mine i'm looking at myself now in the video and i look i look fucking dreadful i think it looks fine i look dreadful it's all like it's fine. It's, it's no longer your head. on the side. I, I swear, it's shit. all in your head. You I look, look at like it. And you're like, oh, I look shit. Look like fucking it, man. <laughs> Bro, it's nothing. There's nothing wrong. I swear. Like, it's just, it's just. You look. I do. I look in the mirror. I'm like, I oh, like crap. But then, like, I'll see myself on the podcast. And I'm like, oh, actually, it looks quite nice. Like, what a handsome just, young you, man. You just, you just. It's just in your head. Your it, hair's honestly, still you looking gotta, good, Connor. I'll, I'll say that. My hair. Look, I don't know what the fuck's going on now that I've played with well, it. We haven't seen it in person. I only, I only, I only trimmed my beard last week. That was getting out of control. I feel yeah. like I need to start doing that a bit more. I wasn't going to today, but I'm like, to be honest with you, I kind of like it, and I like to get my hair cut for events. And mm. to be fair, I got a pretty busy weekend. Pretty busy weekend. Yeah. But I'm like, ah, I kind of like how it's going. I'm getting dragged to the AFL on Saturday, cool. which I hate, and it's I'm tragic. seeing uh, Tenet on. Sunday. Yes, man. I uh, Mr. Nolan's new film, which I haven't seen a single trailer or anything. I have no idea what it's about. I've um, like passively watched the trailers. Rare. Like I've seen, I, I couldn't recall how any of the trailers play out, but there's like a few shots that I remember, and I was like, those shots look cool. But um, yeah, I, I don't know why. I it's just it's just something I've stayed away, from, and I never do this. Mm. But I've ne- I haven't seen a trailer. I was hoping to watch crazy. it this weekend because. Uh, in Australia, they're doing um, advanced screenings this weekend coming, and then it properly drops. Uh, yeah. On on, th- uh, by the time this podcast comes out, uh, the the advanced screenings would have finished, and it will actually drop this coming Thursday. So, um, yeah, I was hoping to go along to some of those advanced screenings, but I'm just I'm just not gonna have the time. Um, yeah. So I'll should I'll be alright. Probably have to go. Uh, I saw um I saw a great film last night. I saw um. Uh, King of Staten Island. Oh yeah, I've heard that's meant to be really good. I actually, I I didn't, I was not expecting much to be fair. Mm. Um, 
but I found it very heartwarming and very relatable, to be honest with you. Um, it's literally like looking at my family, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, not the, in the sense of his dad's not alive, but I found the relationship with his mum and his sister very relatable. And I'm like, that's really cool. It kind of makes me want to eventually want to write, which I will get to one day. But um, mm. yeah, I got a, I got a cool idea for for a, for a short, which I might do. Do it next year. I love it when you I make stuff. It. I love Me? it when you make stuff, Connor. So um, um, do that. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a bit of a podcaster right now. I know, I know. And um, I know my my full priority has been going on the show, which is which is growing, which is really nice. And I've been working on all the socials and stuff. And but I think if all goes to plan, I think I actually should be filming in the next couple of days for a for a for a main channel video i actually really do want to start to make some of that content again Wicked. um because we're doing this thing on the podcast i suggested it i was like maybe we should do like we should like do a special episode where we bring up previous stuff we've done like previous little shorts we've made or like videos and ask mm. each other questions about that and i was like oh well i kind of i went for a couple of my old ones i'm like actually maybe it's about time i revamp the channel i saw uh, you gotta tell me i saw you um did your was it your last vlog or you said it was kind of your last one what, what's uh, happening i'm there? doing a few more but this is the first okay. time i address it that i'm that i'm uh stopping my vlog series uh, is it because you're feeling a bit like me and you're a bit like you've outgrown it in a way or yeah yeah like uh uh particularly with what the narrative of my vlogs have always been i used to always say uh, this is so off topic. We're really not talking about Doctor Who this yeah, week. Yeah, I, um, I know. So, uh, say no. my vlogs, I've always said they either need to be about film, uh, mateship, or travel. And that was always mm-hmm. what I would categorize my vlogs as. Um, and in terms of those narratives, film, i am almost finished my film degree. Um, and then it's just out into the big world. So, there's that's sort of like a big ending there for that narrative. In terms of mateship, like I was at a weird place when I started vlogging and I feel like now I just like I have good mates like you and like my other mates and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, because of like, you know, things like uni and work and stuff, I'm super busy so I don't get to go out and do as many like fun things like that anymore. Um, and also when you are a kid just hanging out at the park, you're like, yeah, this is so cool. But now it's like we go to a park and we're like, all right. We go home and get drunk. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and then well, uh, travel. Yeah, gone. Sorry. Fucking yeah. Corona. Oh yeah, obviously and, Corona and stuff. Yeah, and shit. but also, like, uh, I when I travel now because I do so much film stuff, I'm like, I don't want to fucking vlog. I just want to put my camera yeah. down and hang out. But well, to to wrap this up with one more sentence, Connor. Um, yeah. I think what all those three things come under under is the uh, the theme of youth. And uh, I, I guess, you know, whilst I'm still a young guy, I don't have as many youthful qualities as I may have once used to have had. Um, and so that's why I'm, I'm ending the vlog. Well, if you, can, um, if you can hold off for a bit and when you're a bit less uh, busy, I would love to be in one of the last ones. Connor, if um, I can make a request. I have a... Uh, oh, you got something planned? I have something planned for how I want the last vlog to do. I'll tell you about it after this video because I don't this uh, okay. podcast because I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Connor, should All we? Because right. I do feel like we are going very off topic right now. Yeah, we need to do ratings and then we can end it. Yeah, because I've got to go and fucking do some work. Yeah, that's all good, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, this is just a pretty, you know, it was been. A, they subscribe for the fifty percent part. Yeah, yeah. Look, I fucked Connor around a lot today, um, and it's fine. Don't worry. We're, well, you're shooting really late. And it's a pretty bland episode. There's not much to talk about. So that's why we've gone off great. topic a bit. Um, okay, do you want to go first with your rating, Connor? Yeah, I'm going to give it a 6.5. Okay. I think it's a pretty standard episode, but I had a lot of fun with it. It's it's far from great, but they're the boat, the face of both scenes, the beginning, the all the Cassandra stuff at the end, it's very emotional for me. And uh, it's quite a nostalgic episode, but yeah, there's no there's nothing huge, hugely great about it, but... Yeah, I didn't hate it anywhere near as much as a lot of people seem to over the years. But yeah, I'll give it a good 6.5. Yeah, cool. Quite uh, generous, yeah. but yeah. I'm going to give it a 6. Um, I think okay. there's some things that work. Like, I think, yeah, the ending's really great, real moving, and even the intensity. 
um, of them chasing, I think was really cool. Um, but I just think there's a good like 20 minutes where I'm like, man, this is uh, especially for yeah, a premiere. It doesn't feel, excuse me, it doesn't feel at all like a premiere. Like uh, premieres are usually like running down corridors, explosions and shit. This one is uh, well, just just bland. But the bow face to bow was cool and his theme was amazing. Yeah. All right. I got my I got my whacking stick to do the tune. You're you're, yeah. you're rushing to get off. I respect it. I respect it. No, I'm not rushing. I was happy to keep talking this twat. All right, you ready? <laughs> All right, Connor. Guys, once right. again, sorry for a super uh, uh, weird, bizarre, not our best episode of the show. That's going to sound but, great on the audio. Yeah, Connor, stop but Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to do it. Uh, but I uh, hope you guys uh, will be back ne- next week uh, when we review Two from Claw. And maybe we'll try stay. It's a good episode, so we'll try to stay on topic a bit more for that one. All right, are you ready, Aiden? I'm ready. Count us in, Connor. And a one. Oh, shit. Sorry. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three. It's, it's Aiden's and, and Connor's podcast. podcast. It's so laggy. We're doing We're Doctor doing Who reviews. Doctor Who reviews. Doing Doctor Who Doctor reviews. Doctor Who reviews. Oh, what a Damn. subpar episode. <laughs>